Hi everyone, this is Sultan again with Rex Theme. Uh, by now I presume you already know how to add scenes to your virtual tour and how to add hotspot to each of those scenes. Uh, if you haven't seen those videos yet, I'll add a link to the description for the playlist so that you can watch the whole playlist again. Uh, so in this video, I'll give you an overview of some of the general settings and features you can use to customize this tour into making it even better. Alright, so let's get started. Now as you can see, uh, I'm already in an edit mode of a tour and uh, this is basically the tour I used to create the tutorial videos uh, last time when I showed you how to add scenes and hotspots. So in those videos, I didn't do anything with the general settings. So as you can see, I'm on the general settings now. Here initially you'll be on the basic settings tab. In this uh, tab, you'll be able to add a preview image. Uh, basically you'll use this when you don't uh, keep this one on, turn auto load. Uh, let me just show you what happens when you turn auto load off, all right? You'll see this is how it looks, all right? So if you turn the auto load off, the tour will not start off by loading directly. Uh, someone has to click on it for the tour to load, all right? So in this case, uh, you obviously wouldn't want to keep that ash colored uh, knitted background there. So what we allow you to do is upload a preview image. So let's say when I click on it, uh, I want to add a preview image. I'm just gonna use the same image I used as for the tour. Uh, so now, if I preview the tour, you will see that the tour is not loaded, it's just giving me the preview with the image. When I click on it, the tour loads, all right? So that's the task of the preview image and uh, the auto load option if you turn it off that's how it comes up uh, if you turn the show controls off this will just make sure this controls are no longer there let me just show it to you let me turn it off uh, I'll go to scenes and click on preview and there you go as you can see there is no more controls and the top of the tour all right now if I go back to general settings there are more things you can see on the right side the scene fade duration basically means if you give a duration here uh, this will be a faded effect when you move from one scene to another. Remember I showed you the scene type hotspot when you click on one hotspot and it takes you to another scene. So a scene fade duration there puts a scene fade effect. Let me just show it to you. Let's say I'm using a scene fade duration of 5000. Here it's calculated in milliseconds. So I have to input numbers in thousands to indicate seconds. All right. So now I input it 5000 there. Uh, if I now preview the scene, and I'm loading the panorama and this is a scene type hotspot where I click on it it will take me to the second scene so let me click on it and as you can see there is a faded effect now that I have inputted as the animation let me just show it to you again if I go back to the previous scene using a scene type hotspot it will have a faded effect to take me to the previous scene all right so that's what this is for now you can see there is another option that says auto rotation. Uh, when you turn it on, this will enable an auto rotation uh, feature for the tour itself. So adding a positive value here means it's clockwise, adding a negative value means it's anti-clockwise. I've added a value of minus five. This indicates the speed. So the more value you give, the faster the tour will rotate. Uh, next comes the resume auto rotation after. Uh, this is to set how long after you stop the rotation it will start rotating again so let's say I used a value minus 5 and I'm giving here 5000 again this is in milliseconds so you have to input values in thousands to indicate seconds so now if I preview the tour I've kept the auto load off so when I click on it there you go the tour is auto rotating now when I grab on it the auto rotation will stop but remember I gave a 5000 milliseconds of pause time after that it will start auto rotating again as you can see it started already right after five seconds all right so that's what you get in the basic settings on the advanced control you have more options such as uh, controlling what people can do with the tour for example controlling they can move in the tour with the keyboard if they can drag the tour I'll create a separate video to demonstrate all of this to you uh, then you have the option to enable gyroscope uh, option I'll also show that in another video now you can enable a scene gallery to your tour 
uh, add a background music add company information all of this i'll show you in individual videos afterwards uh, you'll find another tab called control buttons these are used to uh, use custom icons as navigations button on the tour uh, this makes the tour more attractive so this for this one i'll create another separate video so that you know how this works so that's it that's an overview on the general setting options i already explained the basic ones in the upcoming videos i'll show you how you can use the rest of them so that you can make your tour uh, more attractive all right so see you in the next video